Years of hard work and dedication got me to this point. Building my dream car and my dream kit. This is something that I've always wanted and I've always dreamed of, but something that was so distant and far out of my reach that I really thought I would never be able to do this. Okay. Oh! Ow. That's great. Building this car has given me a lot of new opportunities and new friends, but most of all, it's taught me a lot about myself. Set a goal, work as hard as you can to reach that goal, and at the end, who knows, you might surprise yourself. Before we go any further in the video, I just want to say thank you to all of you because without you, none of this would have been possible. The GTR came out so amazing and what you're about to see is the entire process of me dropping the car off all the way until the car is completely finished and the first time that I actually get to see the car. Also, huge thank you to all of the companies who made this possible. SOS Customs for actually painting the car, Art of Attack for helping me source out the Varus kit. There's just so many moving parts within this build and I just wanted to say thank you. But before we get too far, I wanted to let you guys know that in honor of the GTR reveal, we do have a couple of new limited edition items on Legends Media. So um, you guys actually really enjoy our limited canvas print. So we did an R35 reveal canvas print. Every single one of these will be numbered and signed by me personally. We are only doing 50 of these because not only is it a canvas, but we have actual paint cards of the Millennium Jade from SOS Customs that was used on the R35. And and some limited edition cards that we will be attaching the paint cards to. So not only will you guys get a canvas of the R35, you'll get an actual piece of a paint card that was used on the R35 along with this awesome card. So it'll kind of be like attached like that. We are currently making these right now. This is my first sample that I was able to see and it is so rad. So if you head to the first link down in the description, you guys can check out the canvas prints as well as the paint cards that it will come with. Now, like I said, we only have 50 of these so if you guys are interested, be sure to head to the site right now and pick one up. But we also have a couple of other things like mystery boxes and stuff on the site ready to go. So if you're interested, definitely go check that out. Like I said, we are about to get into the entire build process of the R35. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, 
find your it's soul. It's official. Away. It's official, <laughs> man. We're making it happen. All right, now it's real. The car is officially at SOS. It is now a couple of days later. We're here at SOS checking up on the car. I had to bring a couple of things for them that I forgot at the shop. Uh, number one being these side badges right here for the fenders and my stock wheels, but they're back here working on the car right now. Oh, we have got some progress going down on the GTR. So currently right now, SOS is just taking apart the car, taking all the little pieces off, all the carbon and stuff off to get ready and prep for paint. As you guys can see, they're starting to mold the little uh, front bumper pieces right here. These actual rivets are just to keep this thing in place and all of that is gonna be covered up and molded so you won't even notice that. They are just pretty much sanding down the car, making sure the kit is absolutely perfect before it goes into paint. Here's all the little carbon bits. Man, this is so crazy to see. You guys have no idea how excited I am to get this thing back with the color. And like, this color means so much to me and I know SOS is absolutely gonna crush it. So this is it, guys. This is the very start of the R35 paint job. And I am so excited to show you guys the end result. So let's drop these guys off. So before we leave, actually, we found the color code for the color that I want to do. I'm actually going to be able to mix the paint along with Oscar right here and kind of see if we can get an idea of how it's going to look. Oscar's going to show me how to mix the paint up. This has to be very... That came out fast, bro. Oh, a little, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. A drop, we're looking for a drop here. Come on, Dude. trickle out. Are you scared? I'm so scared. Oh, <laughs> oh man, there, there you go, there you go. 11.1 of aluminum. There you go. Now it's just the last drop. We're just getting the last. All right, cool, cool, cool. The, the base coat now our compliant base coat maker. So this is what pretty much makes the paint. So this is what we look like right now. Can't really tell much of anything, but that's so cool to see. You be very slow with it. Grab all even the black that's on the top and then even Dude, the powder that's right there. This is sick. Oh my, look at that color. It's coming up. Oh, do you see it coming together? <laughs> It's definitely coming together, Dude, man. Dude, that that's the color. That's 100%. it, huh? That's it, 100%. You know what's funny? Sometimes I see the mixes and I'm like, Dude, that's not the color. Dude, you mix it and it's like, that's the this color. This is 100% the color. You guys, okay. The document. This is for the documentary video. This is the first time I am physically seeing the Millennium Jade for the third. Dude, look at this color. Dude, that's it. <laughs> that is okay. beautiful. Oh my god, I'm sure the camera can't capture it, but like, that's, that's Millennium it. Jade. That's it. That's For Millennium sure. Jade. I know, right when you mixed it, right when you started mixing, I was like, that's it right there, man. Oh, it's just, this is the coolest thing ever. Right. This is what, one of the coolest experiences ever. That was the making of Millennium Jade for the 35. Just for uh, documentary purposes here, I want to show you guys me mixing the Millennium Jade in front of the R35 being taken apart. I don't know why I think this is so cool, but like, my absolute dream color, like, I don't know. This is like, this is so cool, dude. Like, this is such a special moment to see this color for the first time ever. And it's about to go on the R35. Like, one of the only ones, if not the only one, like, this color is perfect. Everything that I could have wanted. Obviously, I'd probably mix a little bit better whenever SOS does it, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm just too hyped right now to, like, sit here and wait. But, like, I'm just mixing some Millennium Jade. Awesome, awesome day. Fuck yeah. Yes. What is up guys? We are here at SOS Customs today for a very big update on the GTR. We have Tiana here with us, which is also very exciting. So today's update is gonna be the first time I'm seeing the GTR with a coat of the Millennium Jade on it. I am so excited for this. What up, dude? Quarantine. Quarantine. Good call. Quarantine. Good call. <laughs> Tell us what's going down. What's happening? Uh, well, the jams on the body got shot yesterday. Okay. Okay, and right now we have the hood and the doors and the trunk and the 
booth and it's spray time. So. Oh man, so we're actually spraying. We're, we're going spraying, all in. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is quarantined. SOS is still out here killing it. What's today? What's the date? Today, today day four is the quarantine. Yeah, day four, <laughs> day four, the, day four of the quarantine. Yeah, March, March nineteenth. Oh, is that it? That's my car. So this is the first time I will be seeing the paint. The car is currently like just completely taken apart right now, as you guys can see. <gasps> Oh my god, dude, the color is perfect. Do you see that? <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god. Okay, this is this is this is my first look. This is your first look. Here is the official first look at the Millennium Jade 35. Oh my god, the color is spot on. Oscar, this is a hundred percent what I wanted. I'm very proud of this side, even though you won't see any of it. Oh bro. Full on color change, this is a complete full on color change. Like, doing it the right way. Oh, I have goosebumps, I have a hoodie on, but I have goosebumps right now. This is literally the perfect color, bro. Oh, I hope like the flake and everything catches on camera. Oh my God. We had it out, um, we pulled it out this morning, there was a little bit of sun on it, yeah. and dude, I just, <laughs> with the wheels, yeah. it's gonna like, Holy like it's gonna be crap. This just gets me so freaking hyped. Oh, now I can't wait to see the whole car with it. Let's go check out the body pieces and start spraying, bro. This is This is it. Holy crap, so this is actually where they're gonna be painting the car. Got the painter in here right now. For the actual documentary, we're gonna be filming some spraying and everything like that. This is gonna be so cool. Being able to come and like see the entire process of like my dream R35 build coming together, coolest thing ever, ever. get started I thought I'd let Oscar explain kind of what's gonna go down because honestly I have no freaking idea but Oscar what's the plan on like getting everything painted up so right now as you guys saw everything's been wiped down with the wax and grease remover and the first step is gonna be your primer sealant so that's gonna, gonna go on first and then from there we're gonna have our base and then from there we're gonna have our clear and nice. about be about 15 minutes dry time in between nice. each coat so it's a lengthy process you, you see yeah, that yeah, yeah. pressure and stuff but uh that's what's gonna go after right now. Sick. pull it out and get some shots of it outside of the garage so you guys can see the color a little bit better. It's not currently raining and it's a little bit sunny so oh <laughs> the color is so good. <laughs> it's perfect. 100% everywhere. Oh God. I am dead. It's gonna be so good. You guys don't have any idea how excited I am.
going down. This is it, the Millennium Gate. Another update. Today is Thursday, March 26th, and today is officially the day that SOS is starting the actual body paint on the GTR. We're heading back to the paint booth right now. I believe they've already started a little bit of base coat and the Millennium, so we're gonna go check it out right now. Oh, I see the base is already on. Let's go check it out. Oh man, okay, so as you can see, the car has the base coat already on it and good to go. This is the coat that they lay before they actually lay the Millennium. So I'm sure they're just letting this dry right now. And once this is dry, they'll start on the actual Millennium. But this looks absolutely sick, especially this color. I love the gray. So paint has just been mixed. He's putting the gun on right now. It's time to head into the booth for the first layer of Millennium. Oscar. It's going down. Man. It's going down. It's going this, this is real. This is getting real. Layer number one. Oh, it looks so good. That's the first layer. This is the first official layer of the Millennium. It looks incredible. <laughs> come, come see over here. Aww. Tiana's first look at the Millennium. Look at this. Oh, so nice. It's perfect. That is the perfect color. Like the light hits it. I know. Like the camera just doesn't capture oh, how good the how good the color is. It's so like metallic flaky. This is it. Oh I think the car is completely coated with the first Millennium Jade layer. I am mind blown. This is literally everything I could have ever wanted. The perfect color, everything. You guys absolutely crush it out here. Like, dude. Look, honestly, I had my doubts, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna front about it, but this is so fire. <laughs> oh, it's the coolest color I've ever seen, 100%. Oh, man. This is just the first layer. Like, it's not even close yeah. to Yeah. So in the rear over here, this is already starting to dry a little bit. And you can kind of see the flakes in the paint. The next coat is to kind of even out all the metallics. Right. You know, the first coat is your, your dust coat more for coverage to kind of get all the car covered and stuff right. like that. This is going to be evening out all the metallics, making sure everything is, you know, on point. All the metallics are standing up in the right position and stuff like that. After this one, the last one is just like the last pass. Mm -hmm. And then we're here for the, coat, the clear coat. So That's the sick, clear coat's yeah. going to be, you know, we got that good, good. Then we got the coat. good stuff. We got yeah. the contraband. <laughs> so before I leave the booth, I just want to give you guys a quick walk around of the car. I don't want to contaminate the paint. I want to let Painter do his job, get out of his way, let him do his thing. But 
I want to give you guys a quick walk around of the first layer of the R35 now. I have legitimate goosebumps. Like this is my literal dreams coming true in this video right now. And you guys are witnessing it firsthand. This is the moment that I have been waiting for for so long with this car and you guys get to witness it. So this is the first Millennium Jade layer. Next clip you guys see will pretty much the car will be finished and we're gonna be piecing it back together. I'll show you guys the finished carbon fiber fenders and this car will be cleared and it's officially gonna be Millennium Jade. So stay updated for the next clip. Yeah, let's go. So we are doing a little project on the fenders. Oh man, we've got some custom carbon fiber going on the fenders. This is actually complete custom. They laid the carbon fiber this morning. I got some footage on my phone. This is just a very early mock-up of it. It's got some epoxy on it right now. The, as you can see, the Dude, carbon- That one's still, you can look at this one. This is a further phase. And then tomorrow oh, yeah, we're gonna yeah. trim them. We're gonna sand them flat. And then we're gonna put it on the car and then we're gonna mask it. And then when we, uh, we're gonna mask this so when we shoot paint, no overspray gets on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Peel everything down and then we're gonna shoot clear coat over everything. Oh, so it's gonna, look it's gonna all, be you know, sick, dude. Mm -hmm. This is really cool for you guys to see because you get to see what it looks like before the carbon is properly laid. So you guys can get kind of like a before and after look on how carbon's actually laid. You can see the, the fabric and the fibers right here and then kind of like a sort of a clear version of the carbon right here. But when it's done, it's gonna look like it's like master laid. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. Uh, our second layer of epoxy so we're pretty much the next phase is trimming everything sanding everything flat so we have a nice smooth surface and then we're gonna clear coat it so that way it's gonna look just like a regular carbon fiber piece Sick. carbon fiber hood stuff like that man i am April 4th. Today is the day we are in the car. Tiana's here. And today is the day that we are picking up the R35. Think that it's parked right out front SOS. We're about to pull up right now. So I wanted to get filming early, but the car is completely done. All pieced together. New wheels are on. I have butterflies. I'm nervous. I've already seen the color. So I know. Oh, there it is. Just Where? kidding. Oh. <laughs> so I already know it's going to look good, but I just haven't seen it with everything on. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm we're pulling up. My heart is I racing. Don't see, it. see, they put it behind the fence. Okay, they didn't, they didn't put it up front. My heart is racing. I wish you guys could. What's my heart rate right now? <laughs> my heart rate is 122 beats per minute. I, I that's, don't high, know. that's high. Is it high? That's high. That's know. high. Oh man. All right, let's go. We're here. We just made it to SOS. Moment of truth. I can't even open this door. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, you ready for it? I don't know if I'm ready. Over there. But you have to have your eyes closed. Okay, okay. Tell me to when to close it. my eyes. Here, hold my hand. My heart's yeah, racing. Right Why am I holding your hand right now? Well, I can see. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Your, I'm your so hands nervous. are sweaty. Close your eyes. No peeking. Oh, man. I've been waiting so long for this. SOS is finally done. He's about to pull it out for the first time. My first time seeing it, I didn't want to come back to the shop once I saw the car getting painted because I wanted to see it in its first stages and then when it's actually completely done. So, like, I haven't seen the fenders, like, front bumper, rear bumper, nothing. So, it's time. All right, it's started. Okay. Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Seriously, don't peek. No peeking. All right, I'm not peeking. Don't cheat. I'm so nervous. Do you see it yet? Oh! Do you see it? You're going to cry. You're going to cry. My God, I am shook. Don't look yet. Do not look. Don't look. Wait till he gets. Okay, go. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm shaking. I'm <laughs> Do you? There is no way. This is the sickest car I've ever seen in my entire life. 
Bro. Oh, give me a hug, dude. <laughs> oh my god. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen dude, in my whole I'll life. Look. Oh my god, you guys crushed it. There is no way this is my car. <laughs> there is no way. Dude, it's literally everything I could have imagined in my entire life. This is better than I could have ever even like thought of. My heart is racing. Love it. I beyond love it, dude. Like I am a hundred percent speechless. Like I have no words that can express how amazing this is. <laughs> I can't even talk. You guys, this is like beyond anything I could have ever imagined. <laughs> Just give me a bro hug. So we have, you know, obviously you saw that we did the carbon, right? Dude, kind of blend it looks in. so good. <laughs> It's perfect. It's a hundred percent perfect, dude. But with the wheels, like, dude, dude, the wheels so make it. The wheels about, right? make it, bro. Oh, I like. I want to see if we can catch a little bit of sunlight, cause, dude, in the yeah, sun, it, right it looks fucking. It looks sick. Oh my god, you gotta drive it, cause I want to see it roll. <laughs> what? I told you. I told what do you think? This is um, insane. It's unbelievable. Uh, I know all the carbon. Yes. It just blends so well. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way. There is no way this is my car. <laughs> the gun metal on it just goes. It's perfect. With oh. It looks like a little shark. Oh. So I mean, I, I haven't said it yet, but obviously the car is Millennium Jade. Like the flake in it. I don't know if you guys can capture it on camera, but oh my god! And dude, the gun metal too. We kind of offset the front bumper a little bit. Instead of doing black, we wanted to do gunmetal to kind of like match everything that's OEM on the car. But I'm so happy we did the fucking gunmetal, <laughs> bro. bro. The vents up top too. Wake me up. <laughs> I'm in shock. I am. Oh. All right, the final walk around at SOS here of the Millennium Jade 35 SOS absolutely killed this like oscar you have literally made my extreme like most wildest dream come true building this car and like painting it and, like bro i cannot thank you guys at sos enough like they hit this 110 percent and could not have done a better job this is everything that i could have imagined and more like i could have not have asked for anything better than this the millennium jade is perfect all the carbon bits, the custom carbon vents that I showed you guys, and then even the gun metal up front. Like, this is truly one of a kind, and dude, we've made something pretty special, I think. Dude, I think it's one of the sickest GTRs <laughs> I've ever seen. This is literally like, I, I, I know it's weird to say because it's my car, but this is literally the coolest car I've ever seen. Yeah. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, this is the hardest GTR <laughs> out there. Put any GTR out there next to this thing, and this thing is the cleanest one I've seen. <laughs> hands down. Thank you so much, dude. I am going to go and uh, get some time to enjoy this thing, yeah, bro. Yeah, get some <laughs> Maiden voyage. It's so it looks sick in the sun, bro. I, I don't even want to drive it because I just want to like stare at it right now. But this <laughs> is. Hold on, I, I gotta show you, man. This, bro, look how oh. it fucking looks in the sun. It just looks bro. so good, bro. <laughs> Time to go enjoy this thing. I just did my first drive and I wanted to come get some pictures, but like since since we are quarantined, everything's like shut down or roped off. It doesn't look very good, but I will go shoot. But before we do that, I just want to do a quick walk around of the car so you guys can kind of see it just as we picked it up from SOS. Kind of give you guys a few of the details that we have done. Like I showed you guys before, we did do the gun metal up front to kind of contrast the front bumper. And then on the sides, we actually molded these pieces. These do come off, but I decided to mold them just because it looks a little bit better. And I left the bolts here because I do like like the way the bolts look makes the front of the car look super sick and then we have custom carbon fiber laid on the fenders these do come fiberglass i decided to go ahead and lay carbon fiber so it would match kind of this canard piece right here as well as this which comes carbon from varus and the cool thing about this is sos actually matched the carbon weave from varus to these so it actually it's like the same exact carbon as Varus carbon. We have all the carbon fiber goodies down here from Varus. It all matches and blends so perfect together. And then in the rear, 
you guys can see right here, we do have the carbon. This comes like this comes carbon from Varus with the gunmetal diffuser. We repainted this just so it looked a little bit better. The car is phenomenal. It came it came <laughs> out. I was super skeptical. I I was like, you know, do whatever you want, but what? Yeah, this but is a, this is either a color that you really love or you it really came out super clean. It's really classy. So the reason why I decided to do Millennium Jade is because as you guys know, I'm just a GTR fanatic. I love everything GTR and the R34 Millennium Jade is my favorite color ever on any car possible. So as you guys know, I have an R34. Fortunately, I don't have the R34 Nerve, which is what the Millennium Jade came in, but I wanted to bring Japan over to the US. Since this is my dream body kit on the R35, like my dream car, my dream body kit, like everything that I've ever worked for has gone into the R35. This is my dream build. This is exactly what I wanted to do ever since I was a kid. Why not put my absolute favorite color of all time into this? And it really keeps the GTR heritage coming from an R34 color, putting it in, putting it on an R35. It just like stays true to GTR while still bringing like that Japanese culture, which I love so much to the US with this car. So that's why I wanted to go with Millennium Jade. Extra pair of Johnnies. That's all you get. That's all you get right now. I'm got a special to guest it. today. Yeah, buddy. Dude, what do you think of the car? Dude, this, oh, is shit. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. So this is gonna be Sean's first ride ever in the GTR. Well, actually, Bro, you rode it when, when we first got it. It's completely stock. And now it has 705 horsepower. So. And it looks insane. Slight difference. Oh my god, you ready? Oh shit! Oh my god! Are you serious? That was like quarter throttle. Bro. You almost dropped the camera. <laughs> This might be like the fastest car I've ever rode in. This is kind of scary. <laughs>